We are John and Miriam. We may live along the Virginia coast, but for the next few months, we will again call the road our home. We plan to ride our Can-Am Spider to the Pacific coast and back, over 7,000 miles through 16 states. We are calling this trip a lap around America. We know this odyssey will offer up its full survey of adventure, scenic beauty, along with the standard dose of challenges. But that's what we signed up for. More equipment for the trip. Probably should have got this a long time ago, but considering we're putting, or expect to put uh, quite a bit of mileage on the old spider uh, here this spring, decided to go ahead and, and uh, pull the pull the plug and make an investment. What we've got is a tire pressure monitoring system that uh, I'm going to put on the spider. So. It's got a good review on uh, Amazon. Let's hope it works. I like the size of it. It's very, very tiny. Okay, we got the tire pressure system installed. This is the brand that we ended up picking up. Pretty straightforward. I'm So far, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, the brand name is uh, Gensight, and I think I paid about $38 on Amazon for this system. And interesting thing is that Amazon are the supplier uh, there are several suppliers selling this particular product and they had no idea what the dimensions were and I really want to know what I'm looking at as far as uh, the actual readout so I can actually put it on the spider comfortably they had no idea so uh, three different sites had three different sizes ranging from five inches to seven inches to ten inches in and overall the in width so got it and it works and it's uh it's it's fine. So let me show you what we got. I mounted it right over top of the uh, GPS with some Velcro, so it will come off if I need to. It uh, comes with a charge, a USB charge port right here. It's a USB-C, and it flashes every time it gets a signal from the transmitters. Now, the ideal pressure is uh, 18 pounds for the two front tires. It's showing 17 pounds, and... Once the temperature warms up, it's kind of cold in the garage right now. It's in the uh, 50s. Uh, it'll come up. The tire pressure in the rear tire, 27 pounds. It should be 28 if my memory serves. So, yeah, like I said, I expect it to come up when the uh, uh, when the temperature comes up. Now, I don't want this flashing light to be on my dash all the time. So, every time we stop and get gas or top and take a break, I'm going to turn it on and check it and then just turn it right back off again. That way, it'll it'll hold the charge. But in addition, this little device, as you can see, it's not that big. And it comes with this little solar panel right back there. Now, the solar panel is designed to mount onto your windshield. Uh, I don't want to do that for two reasons. I didn't want to stick anything permanently to my Lexan uh, windscreen. And second, I don't know how this thing handles precipitation. So during rain, I'm going to take it off, stick it in a little plastic Ziploc bag, and stick it up here in the pouch. That's why it's on here with Velcro. And plus, this, where it's at, it keeps me from having an obstructive view from the rest of my instrument panel. I can't see the key, but I don't need to see the key, as long as I know it's running. The sensors themselves are simply, you screw off the little valve stem covers that come on your tire, and you plug, you screw on the little sensor. They weigh, I measured them, uh, 12 grams. Now, the question I have is, will this offset my balance uh, on the tires? I just had them balanced last year and they're new tires, relatively new tires. So we're gonna take it out and we're going to test it. What I suspect I may need to do is get some wheel balancing weights uh, from my local auto parts store, the adhesive type, and just put the one to offset the 12 grams 180 degrees off of the valve stem to offset the uh, the weight of the 12 grams. But uh, this system came with four because it's designed for four tires. Of course, I've only got three tires, so I've got a spare. And they're pre-paired. So 
once you screw them on and they're they're coated on the back this one is for the right rear i don't have a right rear i just have a single rear and there's right rear left rear right front left front and you can screw them on i thought about getting a six sensor one but the display was much much too big and I, so i decided not to do that uh, i would like to have tire sensors for the uh, for the back tires for the trailer but we're going to work on that and see how that goes. I can always stick this on here, then rotate from one side to the other side to get tire pressure if I need to. Now, the kit does come with some anti-theft hardware. I don't know if it's really called anti-theft. You screw this onto the valve stem, uh, and then you put your sensor on the tire. Then you use a small 13 millimeter wrench that came with it. And you torque this back up, which puts pressure on this. So you can't unscrew it. Um, I don't really think I have to worry about that. So uh, uh, I didn't put these on. So you may be asking yourself, why do you need a tire pressure monitoring system for the Spider? Well, the two front tires, you're right. I can just put a, a pressure gauge on them and check them every time I gas up. But the rear tire is a little inconvenient. I have got to lay on my belly find the valve stem which in this one is way up here where it's stopped right now got to crawl down there and put the tire pressure gauge onto it and to get a reading and it's a little little problematic just trying to reach around and fit things and, and do that i know i need to check the rear tire that is the main drive tire to make sure uh, i get the best wear the best mileage and it does the job the best so decided to go ahead and get if nothing else just for that rear tire the tire pressure monitoring system so i keep track of the pressure on that tire well we have the tire pressure system installed and the only thing i need to do now is do a functionality test to uh, make sure she's holding pressure when we operate to see if the 12 gram weight of the uh, sensors affect tire balance and to see how much the temperature and pressure changes with operation and also I want to cover in a little bit more detail the actual size of the of the system. Um, this is the system right here on top of the GPS. And it is about uh, three and three quarter inches in width. Not cutting the, the uh, Velcro. It is about an inch and a quarter in height. It is about three quarter of an inch deep. Not too bad. And this is the little solar panel. In theory, that keeps it charged, but we shall see. Well guys, these tests worked. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system, I would say, is a success. The only question is, am I going to upgrade to get the two extra tires for the trailer or just keep the uh, sensor for the three tires I have now? Well, actually, I've got a little bit of time to work on that. So we're down to about only a, a thousand things left to do before we go on the trip, but we do have uh, two months, so we'll get it all worked out. So. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you guys later.